Unspeakable devastation tonight in Ukraine after a powerful missile struck a train station where hundreds of women, children, and elderly citizens were trying to escape the war. At least 50 innocent civilians were killed, nearly 100 wounded. Five children are among the dead. It is an attack that has run global outrage in what Ukrainian president called an evil that has no limits. KTLA's Pedro Rivera joins us with more from the KTLA newsroom. Pedro? During the last seven weeks, we've seen it all coming out of Ukraine. Schools bombed, residential buildings targeted, and maternity wars destroyed. But these images coming out of eastern Ukraine Friday may be the most punishing blow delivered by the Russians. A train station packed with civilians targeted, killing dozens. I do want to warn you that some of the video is graphic. This train station was an evacuation center for citizens fleeing the violence in eastern Ukraine. Video from days ago shows hundreds of people lining up to leave ahead of an expected Russian attack. On Friday, that attack came. Blood-soaked teddy bears and luggage are leftover remnants of Russia's latest brutality. Ukrainian officials report 50 people were killed and close to 100 were injured after a Russian missile strike on a train station. The Russian words for the children painted on a remaining missile. Officials report at least five children were among those killed. This is another war crime committed by Russia. Everyone responsible for this will be brought to justice. In an address, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky accused the Kremlin of purposely targeting civilians. Like mass killings in Bucha, like many other Russian war crimes, the missile strike must become one of the charges at the tribunal. Despite the video, Russian leaders dispute the attack, saying their military do not use those kind of missiles. The Pentagon finds their denial unconvincing. Particularly when the ministry actually announced it, uh, and then when they saw reports of civilian casualties, decided to unannounce it. This was a Russian strike. Days after Russian forces retreated from the Kyiv region, residents in Makarov are combing through the destruction. The mayor of the town reports 132 civilians have lost their lives during the constant bombing. Russian forces have taken losses of their own, leaving many soldiers with a lack of supplies. Troops have been working on retreating north into Belarus and then into Russia. We are beginning to see indications uh, that they are, in fact, uh, uh, working on ways of refitting and resupplying. Uh, these units. On Thursday, the United Nations General Assembly voted to suspend Russia from its Human Rights Council. Following the attack at the train station in eastern Ukraine, the spokesman for the Secretary General for the UN, Stefan Dujaric, said perpetrators will be held accountable. They are a gross violation of international humanitarian law and international human rights law. The United States has made a commitment to send the necessary help President Zelensky has been asking for in the form of more than 12,000 anti-armored systems and drones. Live in the newsroom, Pedro Vera, KTLA 5 News.
OTR-21 Tachka, also known as SS-21 Scarab, is a Soviet-origin tactical ballistic missile. The missile can be used for precise strikes on enemy tactical targets, such as control posts, bridges, storage facilities, troop concentrations, and airfields. It is powered by a 96 kN single-stage solid-fuel rocket, which makes the missile easy to maintain and deploy. The missile travels at a hypersonic speed of Mach 5, and an altitude of 50 km. It weighs 2,000 kg and achieves a circular error probable CP, of 150 meters. Usually, it carries a fragmentation warhead, which can be replaced with a nuclear, biological, or chemical warhead. The guidance is provided by inertial navigation in midcourse, and can also be fitted with a passive radar against radar installation. The missile has three variants, Scarab A, Scarab B, and Scarab C, Scarab A, B, and C has a maximum range of 70 kilometers, 120 kilometers, and 185 kilometers respectively.